today I'm going to be making music in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay, so I've pretty much been playing New Horizons every single day since it came out. And a couple of days ago, I unlocked this building here, which allows me to have access to pretty much the worst music maker I've ever seen. Now, obviously, that is a joke. I know this isn't meant to be a prop music maker. It's just meant to be something we can make a tune for your island. But I'm going to be making an entire song <laughs> using it. <laughs> that should be fun. So here we go. We have the island tune maker. And just go through and choose notes, which are stuck to the C major scale, I'm pretty sure. For an example of what you can make with this tune maker here is the default tune, which is loaded in with the game. Yeah, not bad. I don't know what's up with this laughing sample here. Not really too sure how I feel about that. <laughs> it's kind of ugly, but I feel like I might be able to fit it into my song somewhere. But anyway, as you can tell, we don't have too many notes to work with. We've only got 16 steps, which isn't really a lot. So I think what I have to do is I have to record out different melodies into Ableton and I can piece them all together to hopefully make something that sounds all right. But it's going to be C major though, so there's only so much I can do. But anyway, let's get started with a main Melody. Uh, uh, the first note is G. It's the top note. E. G to E. Okay. <laughs> this makes it even harder. I guess I should start somewhere around the middle. So I guess we'll start with an E. No. What about something like that? <laughs> wow, this sounds good. <laughs> I mean, the notes are right. The spacing's just wrong though. So what about like that? Third time lucky. How's that? Not bad. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Maybe put a G there. Make that one a health note. I think we actually got our melody. <laughs> this is good. I think I might be able to loop this one here over. Yeah, that can be our first little phrase. It can play twice. I'll just record this over into Ableton and I can move on to the next section of the melody. But first, let's hear Isabel sing it. <laughs> that sounds bad. So we finish off with a G in the last phrase. I might put this one up to an A. Let's put in some held notes. Like a boom and a boom. And then we'll just have the reverse of the top bar. And that should be good. <laughs> I think that should be it for the second phrase. Let's record it into Ableton and move on to the final phrase. Maybe a little bit of DD. Not too sure about this EDC, but the DD should be all right. We can drop it back down to D around about there, and that should be it. Yeah, we just need to change this one to be there. <laughs> we should be good. That should be a whole melody. All right, okay, so now if you take all these melody phrases that I just made and put them all together, this is the complete melody. I actually think it sounds pretty decent. The tone's kind of ugly, but the melody sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Not bad. Anyway, so now that I've got my main melody done, I can go through and start doing a bass line, I think. Maybe some chords as well, but I think for this bass line, I'm going to have to pitch it down in Ableton afterwards because otherwise everything's just going to sound the same. It's going to sound horrible. Wait a minute. If I put the audio through Ableton, I can have it pitched down in real time so you can see what it sounds like as I'm working with it. That should be kind of cool. <laughs> that sounds pretty rough, but it should do. What if I try to get Isabel to sing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck. That's spooky. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to a bass line. So we'll go for a little bit of C around there, maybe some in here. Maybe go for an octave C. Just put one of these in there. That should be it. Sounds pretty good. Now the rest of the bass line will pretty much just follow the same pattern here. We'll just be dropping this root note down to the A and then down to the G. And that should pretty much do it for the bass line. Super simple stuff. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. Oh. 
sounds so cheesy. But it is working, that is a pretty decent bass line. Okay, so now let's go back into Animal Crossing. Let's record in a couple of extra layers. I don't think I'll do chords with this, but I might just put in some random little sounds. I also need to do something with that laughing sound. Can't forget that. Okay, so now I think I might actually go for some higher C notes like that. Pull you all the way up here. I think this could actually just be rolling on top of what I've got so far. <laughs> a little bit slow. I think I might need to put in a couple more. Final one just like that. <laughs> Sounds pretty boring. I think I have to put some reverb onto it, but it should do. I do kind of wish I could sample Isabel singing the melodies that I made, but there's just too much background sound. Can't really do anything. I can barely even hear her. Oh well. Anyway, what I might do is I might actually go through and I might find some sounds which I could use for percussion because right now my song is kind of just lacking percussion, but we also have the issue of having the background music in the game the whole time. Unless I go to my house, I guess? I guess that's the only way I can get around this. Okay, there we go. It's nice and quiet. But what kind of sounds can I get out of here? Does my shark make any sounds? That's gonna work. I've also got a nice little percussive sound there when you place down objects. Okay, let's start recording some of the stuff over into Ableton and I can set it up on my Ableton push and then record in some percussion. Might be a little bit rough, but Anything will be better than silence. Get some of those ones going. Get a couple of those. Couple of spins. Some light switch sounds. Now I just need something thumpy that I could use for a kick drum. I mean, I could always just use some of these steps. They don't sound too bad. Got ourselves a nice little shaker sound. I'm not so sure about the footsteps though. <laughs> those are some good sounds. Does the sky egg sound any different? No, maybe some medicine? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a kick drum right there. Dropping the iron nuggets. I mean, I could also just use the menu sounds as well. I'm not too bothered with how they sound. That one will come in handy. But anyway, now let's move over into Ableton Live and I can start recording some percussion sounds. This should be fun. Okay, so now that I'm all done with that, I think I've got pretty much everything that I need to finish off this song. I can't really add in anything else because I've only got one instrument to work with. And it's not even a good instrument either. So I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up there. But anyway, as usual, I've gone ahead and added on a few finishing touches off camera. And here's my finished song made in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Kinda. Enjoy. <laughs> So there we go, that is my song made with the Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tune Creator. What a good name. Now I think that actually turned out to be pretty decent even though I had to kind of cheat a little bit because 
There wasn't too much I could do at Animal Crossing itself, but considering it has worked with my least favorite scale of all time and one of the ugliest instruments I've ever heard, I think it turned out all right. But yeah, anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video, so I'll see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks so much everybody. Bye. Thank you.